to the Professor Monty YouTube channel. In questo video determiniamo il tuo livello di inglese in 5 minutes, in only 5 minutes guys, that's all it takes. Ok, so io ti leggerò le domande, ABCD, multiple choice, e poi voi avrete 12 secondi per rispondere. E alla fine del video calcola il tuo voto e poi puoi determinare il tuo livello. Ok, ecco i livelli. Allora, se ricevi 9, 9 o 10 su 10, uh, sei advanced, cioè avanzato a superstar. Ok, so uh, let's start, let's go. Question number one. I mm a tree from my backyard. A reminded, B rewound, C dugs, D removed. And the answer is D. Ho tolto un albero dal mio cortile dietro casa, right? I removed a tree from my backyard. Togliere, rimuovere. Okay, next question. I eat cereal with a mmm, but I eat spaghetti with a mmm. A fork spoon, B knife spoon, C spoon fork, D spoon knife. And the answer is C. I eat cereal with a spoon, but I eat spaghetti with a fork. Right? Spoon, cucchiaio, fork, forchetta. Okay? Number three. I wanted to mm you that you have a dentist appointment tomorrow. A. Remind. B. Remember. C. Reminisce. D. Recall. And the answer is A, right? I wanted to remind you because remind is ricordare qualcosa a qualcuno. Okay, remember, remember is just ricordare. So if you see an object pronoun, right? Remind you, remind him, remind her. You have to use remind, not remember. Okay, next question. I'm, mm, it's so cold in here. A, freezing. B. Boiling, C. Cool, D. Stifling. And the answer is A. Freezing, right? I'm freezing. Fa freddissimo. I'm freezing. Um, note that boiling is very, very hot. Cool, fresco. Stifling. Right, it's stifling hot. It's very, 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 very hot. Okay. I wanted to mm your pen. A screet. B uses. C borrow. D lend. And the answer is C. I wanted to borrow your pen, right? Because borrow is prendere in prestito, right? Um, and lend is dare in prestito, okay? You can read these uh, tips to know when to use which one. Okay, next question. I'm so old now, I can barely even mm my name. A, remind. B, remember. C. Reminisce. D. Recalled. And the answer is B. I'm so old now, I can barely even remember my name. Right? Because remind, like we said, is ricordare qualcosa a qualcuno. But there's no a qualcuno here. So we have to use remember, okay? Next question. I have many steak mm, at home. They are great 
for cutting. A spices, B grills, C knives, D barbecues. And the answer is C, knives, right? Because we know they're great for cutting, tagliare, per tagliare. So it has to be knives, okay? Next question. My mother is a mm swimmer. She won bronze at the Olympics. A, good. B, poor. C, decent. D, terrific. And the answer is D, terrific, right? Because she's not just good, she's very, very, very good, which is what terrific means, right? Formidabile, terrific, okay? Next question. How often do you go to the cinema? I go quite... Mm, A, always. B, usually. C, oftenly. D, frequently. And the answer is D, frequently, okay? It's the only one that fits here. Non si può dire, I go there quite usually. I go there quite always, no. And oftenly, non esiste. Next question. The fish were right in front of me, but they swam away. Mm. I didn't see them again. A, out the sight. B, out of the sight. C, out of sight. D, out from sight. And the answer is C, out of sight. Okay, it's idiomatico. You have to know in this context, you have to know that the mia visuale in this phrase is out of sight. Okay, una domanda difficile. Okay, and a bonus thing here, una bellissima espressione. Um, out of sight, out of mind. Lontano degli occhi, lontano del cuore. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. God bless and um, write your levels in the comments. Scrivete i vostri livelli uh, nei commenti. Ciao!